are. So glad you made it here. Well, today I've been working on trying to cast peaches in aluminum. I wanted to make a all aluminum peaches worthy gig with the twirling wings. So hang on to your hats and I'll show you what I uh, got right here. Well, in the video that follows, I'll show you how I got to here. This is, I'm not satisfied with this. It's, it's got a huge divot in it, but it's a, a step closer, step, step closer to what I want. There's some pretty good sized pits in there too. So I'm learning. I think this is actually like my third attempt. And so. But in the video that follows, I'll show you how I made that. Uh, made it. And I started by making a pattern. And uh, a couple of interesting things that I, I'll show in the video is how I uh, covered this in spray graphite lubricant. It's a dry graphite. You spray it on w wet and then it dries and it gets a really nice finish. It's really slick. So that's kind of a neat tip I got in there. What I'm trying to do is come up with the pieces whirly gig just like this, but all aluminum. So my next step is to try to <laughs> cast one of these wings. This is a whirly gig I've been renovating. <laughs> He's got kind of a quite a wow on his head here. Let's see, going like that. But it's I made new wings for it and these are the first wings that counter rotate. When these wings are counter rotating they're supposed to look like they're fluttering. So Anyway, this is the first one I've made with counter-rotating wings. All right, one more thing. <laughs> For your entertainment, check this out. Well, I've been watching this YouTube channel where the guy grows these. They're called dragon fruit. And it, a lot of times he'll cut them open to see what they look like inside. And... I've never eaten one, so I thought I'd take a bite right here, right now. Oh, looks like Peaches wants to get involved, too. What do you think, Peach? All right, let's 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 just take a little spoonful and see what it tastes like. You want to try it, Peach? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if I can save the seeds and uh, grow my own. You want to try it? Try it. Maybe you'll like it. Oh, look at that. Peaches likes it. Well, it's just kind of fruit. It's got like a melon texture. I wouldn't say it has a ton of flavor. It doesn't seem super sweet. Tastes good. It's got a nice texture. Alright, well now I know what dragon fruit tastes like. Thanks for all those videos. I'm trying to cast peaches out of aluminum. And so I, I finally figured out I had to take my uh, peaches worthy gig. So I, I took the peaches worthy gig, it looked like this, and I just put it on the bandsaw and cut it right down the middle. And it's hard to get a straight cut on that bandsaw of mine. I put on a eighth inch pieces of marine grade plywood on there to, so I got a nice surface to part on there and I'm gonna have what I'm gonna have to do is put a couple dowels in here that'll fit fairly loosely so I can so these will clamp together but they'll also come come apart easily when I pull the cope and drag apart so that's what I'm working been working on 
I made my own green sand quite a while ago. I used regular wish ram sand and uh, kitty litter. And I ground up the kitty litter in a, a blender and then I sifted it over my sand. So I'm going to give you a little look at the sand I got. I think it's a little bit wet, but it's holding together. Okay, here's what I got. I, I squeeze it in my hand like this. And then you're supposed to, it's supposed to hold together. And then it's supposed to break cleanly like that. So it's, <laughs> it's close to being what it should be. It seems a little wet to me, but I'm going to give it a try here in a minute. Let's see if I can't figure out how to do this. So that's what, there's my tub of wish ramps and my green sand. I got quite a bit. It's a little tricky getting the sand just right. So I also ordered some Petrobond this morning, 50 pounds of it. <laughs> so I'll be getting that next week sometime. I got it off eBay for $85. That seemed about the best price I could find. So we'll see how that works. I think it'll work a lot better than this homemade stuff. Because the sand is just from Wishram. It's from around here. I didn't even buy it. So it's super fine. It's from the Missoula floods. Well, I'm getting ready to make another mold here. I try to, at least, I should say. And I'm going to show you. I sprayed some of this on my pattern. It's graphite, dry graphite film lubricant. Let's see if that might help uh, the sand to not stick to the pattern. I never heard of it before, so I might be inventing something. I got a piece of plywood under here. I probably should have cut it a little bigger. So what I'm thinking is when I get done I can just <laughs> tip it up like this and the sand won't all fall out. You know, sometimes that sand wants to fall out.
Peaches were the gig. Cleaned up a little bit. I was able to, it had a big void. Where is it? Right here. It was huge, right in here. And I was, I filled it with these aluminum brazing rods. You know how they all, <laughs> you always see the ads for them and it looks so satisfying the way it works. And well, it wasn't quite, quite as good as on TV, but it, it seemed to have filled that void. I still got a few holes, so I still need to work on it. The biggest flaw I got now is this big old divot right here. There's a big old divot. You can see it. I think my gates were too narrow. And it should have... They froze up before they... They cooled before they should have. They should have been able to draw some some more molten aluminum back from one of those risers. today. I sure appreciate everybody stopping by. Hope everybody's safe and well. Take care. We'll see you down the trail. Bye-bye. <laughs>